Welcome back to Hannity. Now, moments ago, I wrapped up an extensive, wide-ranging interview with former President Donald J. Trump. Here is part two of that interview. Take a look. I want to talk about elections. And I agree with you. And you mentioned at your rally last night. It's a position I share. I would like to see Election Day be a national holiday. I would like elections to be paper ballots, making exceptions for the military, sure. the sick, the elderly, those exceptions. They can apply for an absentee ballot. I would like a national holiday, partisan observers in every precinct watching the vote all day long when the polls close, watching the vote counting. At the end of the night, you declare a winner. Okay. It seems Democrats are more involved in voting early. They're more involved in voting by mail. And most states, most people may not know this, have legal ballot harvesting. It's been embraced by the Democrats and not by the Republicans. There are states that are exceptions, like Florida. You know, you have now changed your position. Do you think that Republicans' reluctance and resistance to mail-in ballots and voting early and ballot harvesting like Democrats has that been a mistake? Was that the mistake in 2022? I never changed anything. What I did is say mail-in ballots are automatically corrupt. If you have mail-in ballots, you're going to have very dishonest elections. France had mail-in ballots. They had to go away from it. They had they an left. election. They went back to paper ballots. They went back ballots. to paper ballots. And by 10 o'clock in the evening, everybody was happy. That it was announced and that was it. Pa you want paper ballots. You want same-day voting, ideally. Because, you know, we, we have elections where they sit around for 62 days big boxes of ballots that are laying all over the floor. You take a look at what happened in Atlanta and some of these other places. But they're sitting all over the floor. They have wheelbarrows carrying ballots. 62 days in some cases. So you have months of elections. And people are saying, what's going on? Boxes are moving from here right. to there. It's ridiculous. We should have same-day voting. We should have paper ballots. And we should have one well, other thing, voter it. ID. We're not going to have And signature verification and Correct. chain of custody sure. controls and partisan the observers. The Democrats don't so, want it. But my question is... By the way, that, excuse me, the Democrat voters want it. I hear 88 percent. The people, the Democrat voters want it, right. but the Democrat politicians don't want So for 2024, should Republicans embrace early voting, voting by mail, and embrace the tactics of the Democrats and follow the ballot harvesting laws of their respective states? Well, they're going to have no choice because we have to do it. But if you were running and you're like a nice, normal person who's doing a wonderful job, who wants to be a I congressman can't, I can't get elected dog catcher, no, Mr. I President. Know. But what I'm saying <laughs> you is... Agree you agree with that. You, no, I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> I think you could get elected in anything. But, and I think you do a fantastic job, Thank by the you. way. Thank you. But if you were running for office as a person that's not very well known... I mean, the people know me. I think that's why I'm going up during this hoax that's taking place in New York. And in, so, by the way, so, and with the boxes hoax. Mm. I mean, how can you look at me as an example with the boxes hoax? And they don't talk about Joe Biden, where he has 1,850 boxes of stuff, where as a senator, he had all classified... What about, what about As Hillary, a senator, he had all classified... Hillary Clinton and James Comey, no prosecutor would prosecute. Uh, Unbelievable. If you look back to that, that caused a tremendous problem within the FBI. You know, I'm very happy about a couple of things. The Actually, I'm happy because we can straighten this out in this country. This country's a mess. We're a mess. I agree. Between inflation, the economy, the what happened in Afghanistan, it started it because we look so incompetent. Then Putin said, wow, if they're that weak, if they're that incompetent, this is the time to take Ukraine. Don't forget, he would have never done that with me. Would have never done it. I want to get into that, but let's stay focused. I want to stay on this last part of this, because I think this is really very critical. Um, I mentioned Comey. No prosecutor would prosecute. Uh, deleted emails, right? 33,000. Yeah, 33. uh, devices destroyed with hammers. SIM cards removed. Hillary's dirty dossier. FISA warrants based on that dossier. That was 2016. Now fast forward to 2020. Now you have FBI. They've had Hunter Biden's laptop since December of 2019. We know, thanks to the New York Post and others, the FBI was having weekly meetings with big tech. You referred to it a little bit earlier, warning them about potential misinformation in the days leading up to the 2020 presidential election. Now, the former head of the Twitter site of integrity in a case in Missouri, now, now Senator Eric Schmidt, then Attorney General Eric Schmidt was involved in, specifically said 
that the FBI was saying the misinformation, it may be about Joe Biden. It may be about Hunter Biden. So now they had this thing since December 2019. They knew your lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, had a copy. That's right. So they knew it would likely be public. And there, with the FBI is now telling big tech that this is likely going to be misinformation. That information then got centered or, uh, censored across the board. Okay, explain that to me. So it's massive election interference. They said they knew it was the whole thing with Russia because they knew by that time that the dossier, the famous dossier, was garbage. It was made up by Hillary Clinton and the Democrats and the DNC. The Democrats made it up. It was all made up. They took this thing and they sent it around to everything and it was totally made up and now everybody agrees to that. Somebody should have been prosecuted for that. And you know what? It should be this group that does because now they have all of the information. Go a step further. They spied on my campaign. Do you remember I said a long time ago, you know, I hear that they spied on my campaign. And at that time, because truth is incredible, but at that time I was using Twitter. Now I use truth, although I have, they want me back on Twitter desperately. Are you, you going to go back? Uh, well, we'll talk about that at some point, but <laughs> I love truth. I, I think truth is incredible. It's, it's up, I think, 389%. It's the hottest thing there is. By the way, Elon Musk revalued Twitter at only 20 million. Well, it was not... Uh, uh, 20 billion, I'm sorry. No. But he did a big favor by letting people know no. how corrupt our government is, because that's essentially what it's like. But think of it. So they go in, and they, they are interfering. The FBI is interfering with an election. And I'd be willing to bet that the people that work in the FBI, the agents, you know, the various... I would bet I'd have 90% of that vote, too. But the top people, when you look at Comey, he was... Just terrible. Did you ever see the inspector? And I had to fire him. And by the way, I fired him very early. You know, you're not, a lot of people say you can't really go so quickly. You got to go through a process. You with happy with Chris Ray? But just so you understand, I put Chris Ray in because I wanted to have somebody in there that everybody, including the other side, really wanted. It may not have been the right move. Let's see. Time will tell, okay? But I wanted to have somebody in the FBI because I'm an honorable guy. I'm an honest guy. I may have made a mistake. But I put somebody in that the other side, everybody agreed to. You know who recommended him to me? Chris Christie, okay? He recommended him. And that's okay. I don't mind that. I've taken Chris Christie's recommendations before. Uh, and other people wanted Christopher Ray, And people from the other side wanted Christopher but, Ray. But now and Jim I Jordan is investigating, though, if the FBI is politicized. Yeah. I've interviewed two of the whistleblowers. There's going to be, according to his yeah. uh, committee, dozens of FBI whistleblowers, and they're also looking into the question, and you brought up these words last night, the weaponization of the Department of Justice. Total. So Total. the question is, so they had the laptop since 2019. They, they could have easily verified it within days, I would imagine, yeah. with the technology uh, advancement they don't and want equipment. To okay. They knew your lawyer would likely leak it. And FBI agents are meeting weekly with big tech saying that that might be misinformation. By the way, the lawyer yes. couldn't leak it because they took it away from him. They took it away. And, you know, they raided his apartment and they took yeah. a lot of the things he has. I don't know if they took that, but I think they took it away or they took parts of it away. But they raided. A lawyer's Rudy was a lawyer and is a lawyer and a good one. And you know, Rudy's been proven right about a lot of things having to do with Ukraine and others. But one thing you have to say, lawyers, I always thought they were a little bit sacred territory. In other words, if you're in litigation, the lawyer's never brought in. I have every time somebody wants to represent me or represent and I have a lot of people that want to represent me because they think mm -hmm. it's so unfair the way we've all been treated. But they end up getting caught before grand juries and stuff. They end up being sued individually. I say sometimes to a lawyer, are you sure you want to represent me? I think you're making a mistake. What do you need it for? <laughs> I have plenty of people. The good thing is I have plenty of people with great spirit that do want to represent me. And we have some very, very good people. But think of it. Lawyers, for the first time, I've had lawyers that I've known for a long time calling me. They say, do you think this is changing now, where lawyers all of a sudden are being sued for representing? Lawyers have to come and reveal every conversation with the client. I've got that with the boxes hooks. I'll guarantee you Biden doesn't have it. And what he did with classified information, you know, he has stuff, classified information when he was a senator. And I've watched senators, I've watched Democrat senators get on television and say, I can't believe that. Are you serious? I don't believe that. I've they known didn't you even for believe decades. the question. 
I can't, I can't imagine you ever saying, um, bring me some of the boxes that we brought back from the White House. I'd like to look at them. Did you ever do that? I would have the right to do that. There's nothing wrong with but it. But I know you. I don't think you would do well, it. Well, I don't have a lot of time, but I would have the right to do that. Right. I would do that. There'd be All nothing right, let me wrong. move on. Let me Remember hit. this. Yeah. This is the Presidential Records Act. I have the right to take stuff. Do you know that they ended up paying Richard Nixon, I think, $18 million for what he had? They did the Presidential Records Act. I have the right to take stuff. I have the right to look at stuff. But they have the right to talk, and we have the right to talk. This would have all been worked out. All of a sudden, they raided Mar-a-Lago, viciously raided Mar-a-Lago. I have tape. And I gave them tapes. You know, I gave them tapes of storage areas. I gave it to them. I could have held that back. I wasn't holding anything back that I cared about. I gave them tape. But you know the tape they don't want me to reveal? If possible. They've asked me, and I've, I've so far adhered to it. The raid itself. Wait a we minute. Have... I'll take that tape, I know and I'll would. air that tape. Everybody would take that tape. Well, I'm asking first. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have tape, but they think yeah. it might be dangerous because of the faces and everything else, and I understand they that. They get pixel them out. But I have tapes of the raid, mm -hmm. and the raid is terrible. And the way they treated people is terrible. And the way they treat people now is unbelievable. They ask innocent people, please go in and blah, blah, blah. But, that, but that, this is getting but the John, what they, the way they treat people, they treat people like they're a foreign country enemy.